One lady said, aren't they high in fat? I said, yes, isn't that good? The fattiest organ in the body is the brain. And the fattiest food with the highest cholesterol content is breast milk because that developing brain must have cholesterol and must have fat. Cholesterol causing heart disease, fat causing heart disease is a myth. Please contact me if you find otherwise. There's a book called The Great Cholesterol Hoax by Dr. Malcolm Kendrick. He's a cardiovascular British surgeon. All the surgeons, all the heart surgeons have always been skeptical of this myth that fat and cholesterol cause heart disease because they have patients that have heart attacks with low cholesterol levels. Now, you don't hear that one, do you? And the pharmaceutical companies make a lot of money out of you if you're on cholesterol-lowering medication. Are you ready for the side effects of cholesterol-lowering medication? Alzheimer's? Interested. Dementia? Memory loss? Muscle wasting? Young men who love your muscles, are you interested in that one? Old people who should also love their muscles. <laughs> <laughs> the devil has spun us a lie. Drugs don't cure disease, they just change the form and location of the disease. 1,700 cases of Alzheimer's are being diagnosed every week in Australia. Is it because of this cholesterol-lowering myth? Is it because of the fat-free diet? Nah. You, do an, uh, you get your concordance and do a Bible study on olive oil. <laughs> God wants us to eat good fats. What are the best fats? The fats that have been used for centuries. Coconut oil and olive oil came from the hand of the creator because they are squeezed from the flesh of the plant. Easily got. No, I don't make my own. <laughs> but you can buy extra virgin olive oil. I said to my hostess this morning when she brought out the rye bread, I said, do you have olive oil? She said, yes. And I poured a good teaspoon all over my bread. Beautiful. And then on top I had an almond spread and then slices of tomato and lots of fresh basil. Very nice. 